hot over the last few days as the city braces for more violence from anti-Israel protesters. Garrett Tenney, he is live in Chicago. He lives here and he knows what it is like. Garrett, good morning. Dana, good morning to you. And folks who live in Chicago's most violent neighborhoods are really frustrated that Chicago's crime problems likely won't get any attention at the DNC this week, this past weekend alone. More than 30 people were shot and six killed in violence across the city. And that includes a man that was killed just three blocks from the United Center. So far this year, more than 350 people have been killed. And sadly, that includes a lot of innocent children like seven-year-old Jemani Amir Rivera. Earlier this summer, Jaimani was shot and killed right outside his home after his mom asked him to take a cooking pot to a neighbor next door. When a 16-year-old gunman, for no apparent reason, started shooting towards the apartment building. This was around 3 o'clock in the afternoon, just around five blocks from the United Center where Democrats are gathering this week. This morning, another mother who lost her son to Chicago's violence epidemic said politicians in this deep blue city have allowed this to continue for decades. Decades. We're losing babies. You know, we're not losing the elderly as fast as we're losing our young people. They're not even getting a chance to grow up. Who can I trust? So I don't know who to vote for. I'm not even getting help with my own city, you know, trying to figure out who, what happened to my son. It's not fair. It's just not. This weekend, a group of officials in the violence-plagued Austin neighborhood raised a lot of eyebrows when they called out city leaders and the Democratic Party as a whole, saying in a statement, Chicago cannot claim to be a world-class city ready to showcase its best on the global stage while neglecting the people who gave this city its soul. We cannot allow the spectacle to overshadow the urgent need to address the violence that is tearing our community apart. While violent crime as a whole is down year over year compared to the decades highs that Chicago Chicago has seen the uh, violence is still up more than 50% when you look at four years ago before the pandemic.